The next hook in our component life cycle is ng after view init. And you can guess its definition from the name after view init. It means this method will get called after the view has been initialized. Let's understand this with a real example. This is the same application that we are using in this course. And this application is running on this browser on this 42004 port. Here we are having couple of components, but let's focus on the one that is our home component. In this home component, we are having this simple message, this button and this child component. Okay. As per the definition of ng after view in it, it says this method will get called once the view has been initialized. In a component, basically we have four files. This is the HTML file. This is the CSS file or the SCSS, basically the design file. Then we have this spec file that is for the testing purpose. And this is the main TS component file. In this component, this is the template URL and this is basically the view that we are associating with this component. Once this view will get initialized, just after that, there is a hook ng after view in it that will get called. Okay, but what is the use? Let's say you have a situation in your code where you want to inject something after the view has been initialized. For example, on this HTML page, I'm having so many components and let's talk about only this button component. This is the button that I'm talking about. The text on this button is counter, but I want to change this text dynamically. And for that, I want to use the element ref. Let's understand how to do that. So to use the element ref, first I have to use a reference variable over here. I can put anything. Let's say I'm using button counter. Save the changes. Here we are in the home component. There are so many other things that are written in this home component, but just ignore all of them and just assume that we are having only this button and it is having this button counter reference variable. And here in this component file, we are not having anything. We are simply having this view child. And in this view child, we can pass this reference variable. Basically, this view child is a decorator and this view child is used to get all the properties and methods from the child component whatever we are using over here that will be treated as the child component here this app authors is another component so we are treating it as a separate child component but if you will focus more clearly this button is also a component from the html and because of that we can say that this button is also a child component for this particular html page and to get its reference we can use this reference variable and that's exactly what we are doing over here let's give it any meaningful name button counter this ptn counter is enough for us and here we have to use element ref this element ref is provided by the angular and it is coming from this at that angular core okay now i can make all the changes in this button by using this button counter but first of all let's see what we have in this button counter so i'm using this ng on in it over here and let's just console it console.log this dot button counter Okay, so here we are. Over here, you will notice that we are having undefined. We are having the HTML on our page, but on the console application, we are having undefined. Why? This is because this ng on init method will get called before the view has been initialized. It means at this level, this view has not been initialized. And because of that, we are not having any reference of this button counter. But how can I get that? For that, I have to use one more hook. And here in the situation, I can use after view in it. Let's implement this method. Here it is. And let's just use this button counter and paste it over here. So what do we have now? ng after view in it. This method will get called only once after the view has been initialized. Okay, this time you will see that we are having this element ref. Now, if I want to make any change in this button, then I can do that easily by using this variable. Let's do that. So this dot button counter dot native element dot inner HTML. Let's see here I'm writing button text updated. Just save the changes, go back to the browser. What do we have? The text has been updated. What will happen if I will write this code in the ng on in it? Save the changes. You will see we are having an error. It is saying that cannot hit properties of undefined. If I click over here, this button counter is undefined in this situation. And because of that, we cannot use this line over here in this ng on init. 
I hope the concept is clear. Whatever logic you want to apply after the view has been initialized successfully, then you can write your code in the ng after view init. Let's put it back in this ng after view init. 